Welcome to my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle series. Today we're showcasing a team built around the one and only Scizor. With its powerful priority moves, great typing and unmatched versatility, Scizor is ready to lead the charge and support the rest of the squad. We'll be jumping in some intense battles to see how Scizor and its teammates perform together. Let's dive in and watch this metal powerhouse in action. Okay, Chucho has brought a pretty awesome team with a Flygon, the Donphan, the Ogapon. Sinister, the Comfey, and the Vika Vault, which is awesome to see some, some really awesome mons there. So, I think personally, the best thing to do here is to lead with Floridges because it hurts their team really hard. Um, so, I'm going to lead with Floridges. We're just going to spam Moonblast straight away and see how it goes from there. Scizor looks like it could do some real work. Uh, Infernape looks pretty good as well. We've got to watch out for that Comfey, though. If it, if it Calm Minds up, we're going to have to use uh, Iron Trace to deal with it. So, we'll be careful around that. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Chucho. So they're going to lead off with Mushi Mushi, which is going to be the Vika Vault. Is it Vika Vault or Vika Vault? I can never remember. Florges is our lead, though, so we're off to a good start. They're probably going to stay in and go for a Sticky Webs, unsuspecting of the fact that we're a Choice Specs variant. So let's go for a Moonblast straight away. We do our speed, of course, because Vika Vault is very slow. Does a lot of damage, lowers their special attack. And their Flash Cannon is now not going to KO because of that. It wouldn't have KO'd anyway, because we're a Florges. Let's go for another Moonblast. It's got no way of switching into this. So, Floor just comes through with a Moonblast, takes out the Vika Vault, which is fantastic. And uh, we're off to a very good start with our Vika Vault out of the way, doing minimal damage to our team. Not so Tusk is the way to go forward for them with the Don Fan. Uh, pretty cool stuff. This is one of the things that stands in the way of my Bullet Punchers from Scizor. So, I am going to stay in and go for another Moonblast here. I don't see any reason not to. Again, we're Choice Specs. It's going to do a lot of damage. They go for a knockoff, getting rid of said Choice Specs, which means now we aren't going to deal as much damage, but we should still be able to finish off this Don Fan right here. They withdraw the Not So Tusk, though, because they can now switch in something a bit more um, comfortable with switching into a non Choice Specs Moonblast. And they go into Comfey, which is good, good play. So Moonblast comes through. Still does half. Floor just you're a monster. Floor just you are a monster. A monster indeed. Um, right, so this thing. Calm minds, stuff like that. That's that's what we can expect to see. Um do we do out we do not outspeed, I don't think. I see we go straight into Sizzle, and the reason being is because they're either gonna oh they might they might terrify now to resist the moon blast. But we're gonna bait the terrifier somehow. Um they go for a calm mind. So this turn. The only reason they will Calm Mind here is because they're expecting us to Bullet Punch. Um, and they're going to get Terra Fire, which would hurt a lot. Um, so what we'll do instead is we will go into our uh, Iron Treads, I want to say. Or we can do Dragapult. That's also an option, but they can, they can then Priority Draining Kiss the Dragapult. So we don't want to do that. Um, so what we'll do instead is we'll go for a Sloking Switch. And the reason we'll go Sloking is because, A, we want to... Oh, so they withdrew. So they're not going to Terra. They're not going to Terra. They just straight up switch out. So not so Tusk, the Sociable, comes in. As uh, we double that into Sloking. So this is actually not too bad for us. So what we can do is now... They don't have a Dark type, so we can just have a Future Sight, which would be really handy. We can just have a Future Sight, which would be really handy. And um, they can go for their... Uh, they can go for their knockoff all they want. They go for the knockoff like so. It's going to do it over half to us, which is terrifying damage. Knocking off our heavy duty boots, we go for a future sight. And that's going to do a lot of damage to something on our team eventually. Uh, now we could go for a skull, but that does invite in the Ogre Pond. So what I might do instead is chili. I'm going to go for a chili reception. They do go for an earthquake though. That's going to finish us off. I kind of expected that as well. I didn't say it, but I did expect it. Um, right. So now, what do we do? Do we go Scizor? Do we? Oh, we could go Scizor and start Swords Dancing. Let's go for a Scizor Swords Dance Sweep. Let's go for it now. So we do have the protective pads, so I'm not too worried about a Rocky Helmet on this thing. Even though I don't think it does have that. It could have it. Let's go for a Swords Dance. Swords Dance comes through. But most of they're going to do is knock us off, right? So um, they go for an Earthquake instead. So we keep our protective pads. Does about half to us. They take the Future Sight attack and down goes the Don Fan, which is fantastic. So... And um, we got a free sword dance. Not really, because they got an earthquake off. But we nearly got a free sword dance off. All right, Sandbender comes in. That's going to be the Flygon, right? Nice and shiny. So if we assume they're going to go for a flamethrower here, we should terrify it, but they could just go for an earthquake. They could also terrify themselves. 
If we terrify it, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to terrify and knock off. They do terrestrialize. What are they going to go into? Fire maybe? Terrify could probably do well from there. A terror electric, so they would resist the bullet punch. Hopefully this doesn't mean they've gone for a terror blast. I'm pretty sure we can live a terror blast though. So I think going for a knockoff terror fire is fine. I really hope they don't go for an earthquake here. Really hope they don't go for an earthquake here because that'd be really unfortunate. Would have been really unfortunate. So they do go for a dragon dance. Ah, they're trying to go for the dragon dance suite. Fair enough. That's even better for us because it means we don't take any damage. And it also means this knockoff's going to do a lot of damage too. And nearly takes them out. Get rid of the loaded dice. So they're a scale shot set. That's interesting. So we go for a BP now. That's going to take out the uh, Flygon, no problem. Now they withdraw. So what are they going to go into is take a bullet punch? Sinister? Venti. Is that Ogre Pond? Sinister comes in. So Sinister comes in. We go for a BP. It should two shot. It does two shot, which is awesome. So we just BP away. Sizzle coming through for us right now. Let's BP away. The only downside to this uh, particular matchup is that we are now um, weak to Ivy Cudgel from the uh, Ogre Pond. So Sinister goes down. Sure, that's great. But, hmm. I say they have to go into the Ogre Pond now because Comfey and Flygon both go down. Um, so I want to keep Scizor around, that's for sure. So I'm going to go into Ivy Cudgel. Let's go to Florgis. We'll just, we'll just sack off Florgis because we don't need any more. We really don't need any more. Scizor is going to be the key to win this, though, against the Flygon and the Comfey. So um, we'll bring Florgis in like so. They go for an Ivy Cudgel. That's going to take out Florgis, no problem. There we go. And now our best bet, what's our best bet to deal with this thing? Probably going to be the uh, Dragapults or the Inferno. The Inferno could do the job. Because Inferno could finish the whole game off right now. So we're going to Inferno. We'll Flare Blitz. We'll just Flare Blitz. There's no reason not to Flare Blitz because it'll take out the Comfey. It'll take out the Flygon. It'll take out the Ogre Pond. Well, it won't take out the Ogre Pond. It'll do enough though. So Flare Blitz comes through. That's a lot of damage. We get the burn as well, which is pretty clutch. And we get some recoil as well. They go for a swords dance. Ah, they weren't expecting us to be choice scarfed. They were not expecting the choice scarf right there. That is for sure. That is for sure. They weren't expecting the choice scarf. So now... Hmm. I don't think the... I think the fact that they went for a swords dance there means the burn did not matter. <laughs> because now we outspeed them uh, with pretty much everything. So uh, now, if we assume they go for an Ivy Cudgel, let's sacrifice and treads. We'll go back in Sizzle. We'll Bullet Punch. We'll go back in Sizzle. We'll Bullet Punch. Because that Flare Blitz did enough damage in my eyes. It did way enough damage. So they go for a quick... Oh, they have Quick Attack. Interesting. So Quick Attack on the Ogre Pond is very interesting. So uh, Bloom Pops. We're going to get some nice damage off on them with a Burn. Again, we didn't need that, but um, let's just go for an Earthquake here. They go for an Ivy Cudgel. It's a plus two, even though it's burned. It's still got a good chance of KOing us, which is great. So Iron Treads goes down there. Iron Treads goes down there. Um, now, the burn has definitely done enough damage. Because if we didn't burn there, I would have just stayed and gone for a Flare Blitz. You know what I mean? So, I, I, I have no doubt in my mind a plus two quick attack wouldn't have taken us out. So, let's go Sizzle now. We're going Sizzle now. Sizzle can finish off the game, I think. So, Sizzle comes in. That bullet punch is going to come in clutch right now. They go for a quick attack probably, right? Yeah, quick attack just to get as much damage off as possible. Yeah, that wouldn't have taken out Infernape. Uh, bullet punch comes through. Down goes the Ogre Pond, which is fantastic. And then Comfey and Flygon just to go, right? Awesome. Awesome sauce. There's Sampaguete. Is, is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. Confey. We just go for a bullet punch once again. They go for a draining kiss to try and get some health back. It does do a decent chunk of damage to us, but no, no, no. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid that is not the way. As uh, They are life orb, which is interesting. So, bullet punch comes through. That's going to take out Confey, no doubt. Yep, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then Flygon goes down to a bullet punch as well, I believe. Because it was at 1 HP, right? 
Yeah, it's a 1 HP. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go for that bullet punch and take this thing out. Bullet punch comes through. And down it goes. So that was a fun game, to be honest with you. Yeah, GG, a GG shooter. I enjoyed that one. G freaking G. Okay, Dr. Banana Man has brought a pretty interesting team with the Frolligator, Shiftry, Weavile, and the Free Lake Spirits. Yuxi Mesprit and his Azelf. This is going to be an interesting one for sure. I can see Sizzle popping off on this one big time. Um, the Sizzle does really well against the team. I just got to be careful with the Azelf with its Fire Punch uh, or Fire Flamethrower. Same with the Mesprit with Fire Punch. Um, but other than that, Sizzle does really well here. So I might lead off with Infernic, just get a strong U turn off because the whole team is weak to U turn. So this is going to be a really interesting game, especially if they manage to pull it off. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Dr. Banana Man. So they lead off with Weavile the Great. The Weavile. And uh, we lead off with our Infernape. So this is a really good matchup straight off the bat. I can just smack the safe thing in the face of a close combat if I want to. Um, but I'd rather go for a U-turn because I think it's pretty obvious they're going to switch out. Because they kind of have to into like the Frolligator. Or a Uxie maybe. So I'm going to go for a U-turn. Um, they go for an upper hand predicting a Mock Punch. And that's not going to work, I'm afraid, because I went for a U-turn. That is going to nearly KO that Weavile real quick. So that's awesome. Awesome. But they have upper hand, so we have to be careful with Scizor. That's that's one thing we need to be careful with. So, um, I want to go Dragapult, because it outspeeds. But I'm also leaning towards Florgis for the nice Moonblast, because Moonblast really does a solid amount of damage to the whole team. I think I'll go Florgis. We're going to Calamity the Florgis. Nice and easy Floets Florgis. Um, I couldn't change the flower to be a different color. It's really weird how the textures work on this one. So it's whatever. But anyway, let's go for a Moonblast. It hits everything on the team really well. They go for an Icicle Crash. It's going to sting quite a bit. But it won't KO us unless it flinches us, of course. Um, which it doesn't. So as we go for a Moonblast, and that's going to KO the Weavile, which is awesome. So with that thing out of the way, we're looking all right with, uh, we're looking all right with the um, Fralligator, to be fair. Because they might bring Fralligator in now and try and set up on us. But they actually bring in the shift tree, which is interesting. So nice and shiny as well, the shift tree is. Let's see how this plays out for us. So I'm, I'm leaning towards an Infernape switch because it resists both stabs. If you go for a knockoff, we do lose our choice cuff. I think I'm going to go into our uh, Infernape END. And just take out the shift tree of a U-turn, I think. So we'll go into the Infernape now. There we go. They go for a sword dance, that's fine. It's... Bit scary, but it's it's only a shift tree at the end of the day. It's only gonna hit us with a sucker punch or something. So let's go for a U-turn straight up. U-turn goes through, and the shift tree lives with a it was a crit as well, so it's definitely focus sashed. Good to know. So focus sash on the shift tree is interesting. So that means something that isn't infernape is gonna have to take a, a dark type move, maybe a knockoff or something. So what do I want to sack off really? That's the old question. I mean, floor just yeah. Sizzle no. Uh, I guess we just sack off Florges here. We're going to AZ's Florges. Like so. And uh, they go for a Trailblaze. Interesting. So Trailblaze comes through. That's going to boost their speed. That shift tree just turned into a sweeping machine all of a sudden. Which is terrifying. But also, interesting that they went for that against the Infernape. Now, we can still take this thing out of Infernape. But I'm going to go into Scizor. I want to get some Scizor action here. So... We're going to Requiem, Golden Experience. Is that JoJo's reference? It sure is. Let's go for a Bullet Punch. They withdraw Shift Tree. So they realized, hey, they, they, we can use Shift Tree for later. We can sack it off or something. And they go into Feraligator, the Unrivaled, which is terrifying. We go for the Bullet Punch. It's going to do a little bit of damage, nothing too drastic. And then we have to go for a U-turn here because they're going to Dragon Dance. Yeah, Dragon Dancing up. So we want to go for the U-turn so that we can get the uh, nice bit of damage off on them, um, which is going to be great. So Frelligator boosts its attack and speed. And we go for a U-turn. And that does a nice chunk of damage to them. But now, provided they don't have Aqua Jet, which they probably don't. What terror would they be, though? We go into Infernape here because with Choice Scarf, we still outspeed them. So as long as they don't have Aqua Jet, we should be all right with Infernape here. So let's go for the close combat real quick because they're probably going to Terror. They don't Terror though. We could have gone for a Thunder Punch. It's fine. Close combat comes through and that's going to lower our defenses, but also take out the Fralligator. So Fret Averted. Fret Averted, which is very nice. Very nice. Right, Mesprit comes in. This thing is a potential threat to us. We're locked into close combat. They know this because we outsped them. 
I think it's time for Dragapult to come in. On this thing, we can burn it because they're usually physical Mesprits are. Unless it's like a mystical power set, but it, which it could be. It very well could be. Uh, let's see. They go for a substitute. Interesting. So substitute comes through. Very interesting. So with substitute on the field, this thing could potentially self and sweep. They have got leftovers, which is good to know. Let's go for let's go for a hex just to break that substitute. Hex comes through. Boom. And obviously we have infiltrator actually, so it won't break the substitute. I don't know why I said that. We have infiltrator basically, which allows you to hit by by substitutes. I just always forget that it does that. <laughs> <laughs> it also lets you hit by reflecting the uh, light screen and Aurora Veil as well. It lets you hit through it, um, which is awesome. So now I'm just going to go for another Hex and take this thing out. They actually go ahead and Terrastalize. What type are they going to Terrastalize into, though? Dark would be interesting. And it definitely saved their butt here. Fairy? Just in case we Dragon Darts? I mean, you're no longer weak to Hex, so you might live this. You might live this if you're no longer weak to Hex. I guess that's their only chance, really. They do live. And they go for a Draining Kiss. After a Calm Mind, that's going to sting quite a bit. I don't think it KOs, though. It does KO. Which gives them all their HP back. That ain't good. That is not good. So, down to Scizor, I'm afraid. It is down to sizzle. So let's see how this plays out real quick. Let's um, see how this plays out. So we'll go into our sizzle real quick. Like so. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. And we'll terrify her. And we'll bullet punch. Because they might have flamethrower. Um, they could have flamethrower. They could either have flamethrower. So we'll tear her real quick. So that the flamethrower doesn't do nearly as much damage. Because obviously it's resisted. There's a terrifier. There we go. Nice and shiny terrifier. Gotta love it. So, now we go for a BP, like so, take out that substitute, and then we should be able to take them out with one more bullet punch, should. So substitute fades, which is awesome. They do go for a Psy Shark, ooh, that's going to sting a little bit, does sting a little bit, but I'm pretty confident bullet punch will take them out from here, fairly confident, not 100% confident at all. We go for a bullet punch either way. They withdraw the Mesprit. They don't want to get smacked in the face with a bullet punch. That makes a lot of sense. And they're going to go into Yuxi now. Yuxi is an interesting one. So Yuxi can definitely take a bullet punch. That's for sure. So we go for the bullet punch anyway. No damage, of course. And then they also reveal their leftovers on that as well. So that's good to know. They're probably a setup set. They're not going to be light screens and all that. Um, so let's go for... Should we go for a safe knockoff or a U-turn? I think U-turn is the best option here. Um, so they go for a Stealth Rock, which is interesting. So Stealth Rock's going to come through. Um, we just go for a U-turn. It should do a lot of damage to the Uxie. Should. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. That's good. That's good damage. Scizor's coming through for us. So Scizor is the key to winning this game, I believe. If we can get a Swords Dance up, we'll be golden. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Um, so now we go into Infernape. Like so. Get some Stealth Rocks to get into us, which is fine. We, de we definitely try and scare this thing out. Um, I think Infernape could win this game as well. Just as easily. But we'll go for a U-turn real quick into Iron Treads to get the uh, Rapid Spin off. There we go. That's that's enough damage for me. I knew it wouldn't KO. I was hoping it would leave it in range for Rapid Spin. But I think it has. They may go for a Thunder Wave here as well. So it's definitely good to go into Iron Treads here. So Iron Treads comes in. Like so on its air balloon. Floating in the air. Not really though. Um, and then they go for a Thunder Wave, which is great. So that worked out really well for us. Definitely made the right read there. Definitely made the right read. So we can go for a Rapid Spin now, and that'll to get rid of the Stealth Rocks. So we go for a Rapid Spin. It doesn't take out the Uxie from there, which is unfortunate. I was hoping it would. But it does boost our speed in the process and gets rid of the Stealth Rocks. They then go for a U-turn of their own, popping our Air Balloon. Not that it matters too much, because they don't really have any ground-type users on the team. Uh, except from Fraligate could have had Earthquake. Boy, that's gone now, so don't have to worry about that. All right, Azelf comes in. Nice. So, we're faster. We know that. We get. Do we get Stealth Rocks up? No, we, need, we don't need Stealth Rocks. Okay, the Shift Tree and that. But I want Sizzle to get them KOs. Let's go for a knockoff. That's going to be more important. Get rid of this thing's item. Oh, it cleanly KOs it with a... Not even a crit. Damn, that Azelf went down. Down and out. 
Straight away. Iron Tread's coming through right now. All right, Mesprit comes in. Nice and shiny. Not nice and shiny. Nice and then um, beefed up. Uh, let's knock off his leftovers for a start because they're obviously going to go for a substitute here, right? So we knock off the leftovers so they can't get any residual recovery. They go for that substitute. And now we basically have to go into Infernape and just flare blitz this thing to death. Pretty much. So that's what we'll do. We'll flare blitz. We'll use Infernape to flare blitz to death. And then Sizzle should be able to clean up the game. We just have to make sure they don't get a substitute up. That's all we need to do. They go for a draining kiss, which is going to sting a little bit. Not too much, though. Shouldn't do too much damage. No, it doesn't do too much damage, which is awesome. Um, it's going to give them some HP back. But you know what? It's fine, because we're just going to Flare Blitz. We're just going to Flare Blitz. As long as we can get rid of that substitute, we're all right. So we go for a Flare Blitz now. Boom. Critical hit, not they matter too much because it's just going to break the substitute anyway. As there we go, the substitute is going to fade, which is awesome for us. They then go for what? A Psy Shock? Psy Shock comes through, that's awesome. Boom. So END does go down, but now we get a clear path to victory with Sizzle. And hopefully Sizzle's Bullet Punch is enough to KO here. I think it is personally. They're not at plus one as well, so we should be able to live a Psy Shock based on the damage it did earlier. So Sizzle comes in looking all shiny. We go for a bullet punch. And that's going to definitely do a lot of damage to the Mesprit. It might take it out. It does take it out, which is awesome. So Mesprit goes down. And it's a clean sweep up by Sizzle, I believe. Because the Uxie and the Shiftry are on 1 HP each, right? Or close to 1 HP. There's the Uxie coming in. Like so. We go for a bullet punch. Boom. Pop, 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 pop. Down it goes, and then Shiftry can come in and, and make, Shiftry might have Sucker Punch, to be fair. It might pull this back a little bit for them, because we did lose Infernape. So Shiftry comes in. Shiftry can pull this back. No, not really, though. Not really, though. If it has Sucker Punch, it's, 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 it's not really going to KO us. So we go for a Bullet Punch, and down goes Shiftry. That's going to be the game. So GG Dr. Banana Man. Nice little scissor game right there. Pretty awesome stuff. GG. Okay, Max has brought a pretty cool team with a more Pico, Sylveon, Landorus, Therian, Coma O, Infernape, and a Slow King Galar. Pretty cool stuff. I didn't. I do enjoy the uh, more Pico. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'm thinking Dragapult lead maybe because they might lead off with Landorus or something. We can burn it. That'd be great. Um, I'm thinking Dragapult lead, and then we'll just kind of go from there. Um, Scizor looks like it could be really useful this game. Um, Swords Dance knockoff will take out the Slow King. Bullet Punch for the Sylveon. U-turn for the Milpico, etc, etc. So let's kind of go from there and see how it goes. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Max. So they're going to lead off with Landorus of the Distant Pass, which is why I kind of expect them to lead off with, as I lead off with Dragapult. So this is a really good lead for us. Um, Landorus does not get knock off anymore. i got to remember that. So I may as well just try and burn it straight over Will-O-Wisp. There's no real reason not to. Will-O-Wisp comes through. They did not expect the Will-O-Wisp, or they just didn't want to switch out. One of the two, and we burn the Landorus, which is absolutely amazing. Let's see what they do. They probably go for a Stealth Rock, if I had to guess. Um, yeah, there's the Stealth Rock. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Stealth Rocks is up. Well, we can get rid of them later if we really want to. So, that's what we'll do. So, what we can do now is, if we assume they're going to switch out, not wanting to get hit by a Draco Meteor, I'm looking at the team, and I'm thinking, Hex, Hex, Hex is a good, um, a good play here, to be fair. They do withdraw the lander as they don't want to get hit by a hex that we doubled in power. Fair enough. And they're going to use Sloking, which is an interesting choice. So, Sloking comes in. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. We go for a hex. It's going to sting a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, it does about a third, which is great. Uh, and now, we, we could sit here and go for another Willis, but I don't want to get paralyzed. So, I'm going to go for a U turn. U turn comes through. Bit of chip damage on the Sloking. Nothing too drastic. We're either going to see a Thunder Wave or a Chili Reception right now. Um, they could also go for a future site, I suppose. Uh, I, I want to use Sizzle, but they could have Fire Blast, and they might predict and go for it. Um, also, kind of want to go with Iron Tread to get Rapid Spin off. I think I'll go Iron Tread to get Rapid Spin off, and also because we're immune to Sludge Bomb, and we're immune to Thunder Wave. We're immune to, um, well, not immune, but we're resistant to future sites. Let's see what they do. So they go for a Thunder Wave, which is great. So Thunder Wave was coming our way. This is a good roll into Iron Treads. Uh, and now they don't have a ghost type, so I'm going to go for a rapid spin to get rid of those rocks. 
They do withdraw Slow King, not wanting to get hurt by an Earthquake. They probably go into the Landorus. Landorus comes in. It's going to get a nice Intimidate off, which would be great for them. And there's the Intimidate. Now, we don't have to worry too much about this Landorus because it can't Earthquake us for a start. We go for a Rapid Spin, get rid of those Stealth Rocks, get a nice Speed Boost. They are Rocky Helmet, which is good to know. Very good to know. Uh, and there's the burn damage as well. So we're slowly chipping away at the landers, which is great. And um, what I want to go and do now is get my Stealth Rocks up. So I'm going to give them a Stealth Rock straight away. Stealth Rocks come through. They're going to be up for the rest of the game, unless the more Pico manages to pull a rapid spin off. But um, we'll try and make it harder for that. So they go for a U-turn. It's going to pop our balloon, of course. They didn't go for the Stealth Rocks again, because we can just rapid spin them away. They have no Ghost type after all, so they can't block that rapid spin. So what are they going to go into here? Probably, I would see the Infernape if it's Scarfed. Como comes in, the Dozy. Nice and shiny. Well, I say nice and shiny. Ugly and shiny. Uh, I don't really like shiny Como, to be honest with you. But Stealth Rock is going to dig in, which is great. Um, we're probably going to see a Throat Spray or a Dragon Dance. Um, Clangorous Soul type thing. Do we go Florges? They could Poison Jab. If the Dragon Dance, I don't want them to get away with sweeping our entire team. So I might have to just go Florges here. So I will go Florges. Type advantage-wise, it works great, but um, Como can easily have Iron Head, Poison Jab, you know. So we withdraw. They probably do have put If the Dragon Dance, they probably have Poison Jab. Probably. So we'll go into Calamity, which is, of course, the floor just nice and shiny. AZ floor just. They go for a Scale Shot. Great. That's not going to work on a Fairy type, luckily for us. Um, the best bet here is to either Stain and Poison Jab, which won't KO. Terra. Or switch into the um, Sloking. So I'm going to go for a trick here. Um, because I'm expecting the Sloking more than anything. They do withdraw. Are we going to see a Sloking switch? Sloking does switch in, which is fantastic. So getting the trick on that thing, giving it a choice specs, is going to be great for us. So trick comes through. There we go. Switching the items with our target. They now have a choice specs, and we have a pair of heavy G boots, which is fine. Um, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. So now we'll go straight into Iron Treads once again. We withdraw floor just. We're going to go into our iron treads. Because, again, I don't I don't really want to switch my scissor in just in case they switch or moves and go for a flamethrower or something. But they go for a future site. I think it's likely if they've got thunder wave, which they do, that they don't have flamethrower. So we can probably go in scissor at some point. So I'm going to go for a knockoff here because I know it's like, you know, we might think I, I'm pretty sure they're going to switch into Landorus here. That's that's my whole point here. So um, they do switch into Landorus, which is great. Great, 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 great. They go they get some stones dug into them, which is great as well. Intimidate comes through. We go for a knockoff and get rid of that Rocky Helmet. That's going to be great as well. So we get a crit as well, which is really nice. That's going to break through the Intimidate. Um, so Rocky Helmet does hurt us a little bit, but at least we've knocked it off for now. Um, and we've weakened the Landorus as well, which is fantastic. So now, now Sizzle looks pretty all right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is, if we assume they're going to go for a Stealth Rock instead this time, I'm going to go into Sizzle now. Um, Scizor is a really decent one here because um, this thing's burned for a start. Can't really do much damage to us. So we'll go into the Scizor. Um, they go for an EQ, which isn't going to do too much damage. Yeah, not much damage at all. Then we take a Future Sight, which we resist. Yeah, that's fine. Then they get hurt by the burn. So we probably see a switch here into Infernape, which would be nice. Um, so I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. They go for another EQ, so they're just trying to rack up damage on the Sizzle, which is fair enough. Um, so we get a Swords Dance off. We become a bit of a threat now. We don't have to worry about Rocky Helmet on the um, Sizzle. We wouldn't have anyway because of the protective pads. So we'll go for a Bullet Punch right now. Bullet Punch comes through, and we claim a soul against the Landorus, which is fantastic. So Landorus goes down. And um, we've got plus two Sizzle right now, which is amazing for us. Como comes in. Now, the thing about Como here is interesting because um, does Bullet Punch get... I know it sound, sounds really weird, but does Bullet Punch get stopped by Bulletproof? Should I screw around and find out? I think I might. I'm going to go for a Bullet Punch. Screw it. They go for an upper hand. Really? That's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting the upper hand there. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm going to go into floor just now. Gonna go into floor just. Um, that, 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 caught, that just threw me right off. Upper hand on the Como with scale shot is interesting. So let's go for a Moonblast. They do withdraw the Como. Are they gonna go into the Slow King? 
Slow King makes sense. Yeah, Slow King comes in, which is fine. Nice and shiny. We get a bit of chip on them anyway after the Stealth Frogs. It's just a little bit of chip after all. Uh, nothing too drastic. It's a little bit of chip. We could lower the special attack. We do lower the special attack, which is fantastic. Um, which means we can now get a better switch in. So I'm leaning towards Slow King of my own to get a future sight off. Force that more Pico in. Or Iron Treads. I'm going to go Iron Treads. Iron Treads seems to make the most sense. They probably go for a Chili anyway. They probably go for a Chili anyway. So Hot Wheel comes in. The Iron Treads. They do tell a Chili. And they tell a Chili bad joke. And that's going to give them a nice switch out into whatever they want. Now, the Landorus is gone. So the best thing to switch in here would be Scarf Infernape or Como, probably. So let's see what they do. Infernape comes in. Interesting. Nice and shiny as well. Stealth Frogs do dig in. So this thing's got to be Choice Scarf, right? Oh, that's the only way it outspeeds us. So if we assume it's Choice Scarf, we might lose Iron Treads here. Or we can go Dragapult. I think Dragapult is a great switch here. But it resists fire, immune to fighting, resists U-turn, resists Thunder Punch. I think it's a perfect Pokemon switch in unless they go for a knockoff. Um, which they might. They do Terra. What type are they going to tear into? Normally, you'd stay in and go for an Earthquake if you're in Treads, but... They tear a Fighting, so they are no longer weak to the Ground-type move. They're just neutral. So, Tear of Fighting on the Infernape is interesting. So, let's see what happens. They go for an Aurora Sphere, which is going to fail. Because of the fact we're Ghost-types, of course. Um, but now that they're not a Fire-type anymore, we can burn this thing. So, let's go for a Will-O-Wisp. They do withdraw the Infernape. What are they going to go into? Sylveon. Sylveon's a good one. Makes a lot of sense. So we're going to get the burn off on the Sylveon, which is nice after the Stealth Frogs, of course. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love that. We go for the Will-O-Wisp. It's going to be a bit of chip damage every turn onto the Sylveon. Um, unless they're leftovers, in which case it'll just neutralize the leftovers, pretty much. So let's see how this plays out. So they are leftovers, which is good to know. Tells me they're not an offensive orientated Sylveon. They're probably more of a defensive one with Wish, etc. So, if we go for a U-turn here, we get out of there. That's, that's the best thing to do, I think. So, we go for a U-turn. And uh, we get on out of there, which is great. So, with Dragapult out of the field, Dragapult's going to be important for winning this game if we get Sylveon out of the way. So, do I want to go into Infernape or do I want to go into you? The Slow King invites in the more Pico big time. Definitely invites in the more Pico. Floor just could also be good here because we can go for a Moonblast. We haven't Terra yet. We haven't Terra yet. Um, I'm leaning towards the Iron Treads just because I know it can take a Hyper Voice. So hi hi Iron Treads comes in. They do go for a Hyper Voice, which is great. That's going to do no, like no damage. Um, well, he still does damage, just not much. <laughs> we, they already have Terra with the Infernape, so we don't have to worry about Surprise Terra on anything. So everything we see on their field is, is guaranteed to be that type. So let's go for a Earthquake. There's no reason not to go for an Earthquake here. They withdraw the Sylveon. What are they going to go into to take an Earthquake? Como. Como can definitely take one Earthquake. Not sure about two. From the health is that now? Let's find out. So they go for, we go for an Earthquake. No, it doesn't take two, which is great. So the snow's going to stop. So Iron Treads could win this. So we'll go for an Earthquake again. Earthquake comes through. That should take out the Como from there. It does. Crickle hit didn't matter, I don't think. So Como goes down. Mark that off. And the Infernape could be Scarf. But the fact that there's Aura Sphere tells me it's probably not. So now Infernape comes in. But they could have um, Vacuum Wave or Mock Punch right now. So we do have to be careful, and we can't one-shot it with Earthquake either. So I think we have to go straight into Dragapult here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So withdraw Iron Treads. Iron Treads is going to be the key to winning this, I believe. Takes out the more Pico. Takes out the Slow King. Does a lot of damage to the Sylveon. They go for a Willow. So they're actually more of a support Infernape, which is really interesting. I love Infernape. It's quite a versatile Mon. Uh, especially now they gave some new toys in Aura Sphere and stuff. It's a really cool Mon, I think. Um, so they're probably going to switch into Sylveon here. So I'm going to go for a Hex. They do have in the Infernape. Are they going to go into the Sylveon? Slow King. Okay, Slow King comes in. That's fine. That's fine. 
Point and stones dig in. We get a nice hex off, which is going to be great. Boom. Nice bit of damage on the Slow King. They probably go for a Chili here. So I'm more tempted to go for a Dragon Dance to get some physical damage. I think I will go for a Dragon Dance here, expecting a Chili. Dragon Dance comes through. Didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would in my head. We get a crit on the second one at least, which is cool. They now go for a Future Sight. So now we're in a good position because we can just Hex to KO this Slow King. We can Hex to KO the Slow King. And if they switch in Sylveon, it's going to get some damage on it. So they do withdraw the Slow King. Are they going to go into the Sylveon or the more Pico? Sylveon comes in. That's great. Sylveon comes in. That's great. Oh, wait. We're burned. So no wonder Dragon Dust didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. I'm dumb sometimes, I swear. Hex is going to two-shot the Sylveon, though, which is fantastic. Um, even after the leftovers, I think. Oh, yeah, the burn neutralizes the leftovers. So, yeah, of course it will. Of course it will. I don't know why I Dragon Darts. That was a weird play. Anyway. Anyway. Let's go for a Hex and finish his Sylveon off. I think that's probably the best thing to do. And now that we've seen Will-O-Wisp on the Infernape, we know it's not Troy Scarf. Because you won't be Troy Scarf with Will-O-Wisp on Infernape, surely. So, Sylveon goes down to the Drag Dragapult of all things. Which is cool. We take the Future Sight attack, so we do lose Dragapult here. Oh. Nope, the burn takes us out still. I was like, oh, we lived. A choice specs future sight? I don't know if a choice specs factors into future sight, though. That's the interesting thing. So, right, okay, so we're in a very interesting position. So, we know the Infernape can live an Earthquake. Let's go into our own Infernape. It's choice scarf, after all. We can do a lot of damage. So, we're going to END the Infernape. They go into their own Infernape, which is great. They can't willow us because we're a fighting type. Uh, fire type, sorry. So I guess the best thing we can do here is to just go looking at their squad. I say we just go for a flare blitz, right? Flare blitz comes through. It's not a speed tie. We just we're just choice scarfed. So flare blitz takes out their infernate, which is fantastic. And now it's just slow king and more pico. So I think infernate may win us this game. Infernate may win us this game, to be honest with you. So we can get some stealth rock chip. Taking it down to half health. There is a chance it lives the Flare Blitz, but I highly doubt it. So let's go for a Flare Blitz one more time. They don't live the Flare Blitz. And it looks like it's a clean up from uh, Infernape. Unless the more Pico has something up its sleeve. Um, which is always a possibility. So more Pico can come in now. We'll finally see it. So more Pico comes in. Nice and shiny as well, which is a common trend on their team. Let's go for a Flare Blitz. And let's take out this more Pico. It should die to one Flare Blitz. Boom. Down it goes. So that is going to be the game. So GG Max. That was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that. Very, very, very fun game. Very fun game. Okay. Reese has brought a pretty cool team with me. Ascarada, Fretress, Drifblim, Petcheron, Gliscor, and Dragalgy. Um, pretty awesome stuff. I think Sizzle can put some work in here. That's for sure. Um, we just want to get prepared properly. So we want to weaken that Fretress for definite. So if we assume they lead off with Meow Scarada, which seems to be typical... We can lead off with Infernape here just fine, and then we'll just kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Reese. So they're going to lead off with Night Court, the Meowscarada, as I predicted. And I lead off with my Infernape. So this is great for us because we're Choice Scarf, we have speed. If they outspeed us, we know they're Choice Scarf, which would be great info to know. So I'm going to go for a U turn right off the bat. Um, they outspeed us, which is great to know that they are Choice Scarf, Meowscarada. So we know that for a fact now, um, which is awesome. So we can use that to our advantage later. We'll see what this, um, what they want to do against this Inferno. What are they going to bring in? Probably Gliscor, if I had to guess. Megatronus comes in, which is going to be the uh, Dragalgia. That also works. It's resistant to both stabs and the Thunder Punch and U-Turn as well. U-Turn uh, comes through. does no damage, of course. Um, but it does give us a free switch in on the Dragalgy, which is great. So this thing doesn't get fire coverage, I believe. So we can go into Scizor here or Iron Treads. Um, Iron Treads invites in the Gliscor. Whereas Sizzle can go for a knockoff on the switch, which would be really nice. I think we go Sizzle here. I think we go Sizzle here. So we'll go into Sizzle now. Nice and shiny. And we'll go for a knockoff. I want to go for a knockoff here, expecting the Gliscor to come in or the Fretress. And um, they actually stay in. We go for a knockoff. That's going to get rid of their Assault Vest, which is good to know. And they go for a Scold. Hopefully we don't see a burn here. That'd be pretty, pretty bummerific. 
Um, right, no, 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 that's fine. Um, let's go for a BP right now. Bullet Punch comes through. It should take them out from there if Knockoff did that much. They live with a shred of HP and they go for another Scald, which does burn us, right? No. Interesting. So, now um, we can definitely finish them off with a Knockoff, so that's what I'm going to do. May as well, just in case the Glide Score did come in. And Dragology goes down to the Sizzle, so which is fantastic with no burns on it. Two Scalds, Nero burns. Gotta love it. Amalgamus comes in, which is going to be the Petra Runs. They float in the air with the air balloon. I could stay in a knockoff, but we probably die to a shadow ball here. So I'm, I want to go into. Ooh, this is a tough one. Iron treads, maybe. I think iron treads is our best option, because if they do switch up them, the, the if they do switch up and go for a, um, a malignant chain, at least it won't affect us. So iron treads comes in, and we float in the air with our air balloon, which is cool. And then they're going to Terrasalize. So Terrasalizing with this Petron is a really interesting play. So let's see how it turns out for them. So they go for the Terrifier, which is terrifying. <laughs> Funny joke. Anyway, let's see what they do here. So they go for a Terror Blast. I mean, that would have definitely finished off the Sizzle, that's for sure. So Terror Blast is going to take out... Oh, no, it doesn't take us out. I thought, it, I thought we'd, take it, we'd take it out then, but... It is what it is. So now, do I get my Stealth Rocks up or do I get the knockoff off? I think we go for a Stealth Rocks. I think Stealth Rocks is the best option. So we get the Stealth Rocks up. They're going to be up for the rest of the game because they have no Defogger. Oh, no, they have a Rapid Spin on the Fretress potentially. So Terror Blast comes through. Interesting Petra Run set, I will say. So Terror Blast comes through. That's going to take us out. And we lose Iron Treads. But now that they're a Fire type, we can actually bring in some other stuff. So we're going to have to go in Slow King now. This is all going to come down to whether or not they have Toxic or Malignant Chain. To be honest with you. I want a Thunder Wave as well so that we're faster. That'd be nice. Um, but I have a feeling that's not going to really help us. So, do I want to go for a Future Sight instead? Or do I, I think we go for a Future Sight here. I think Future Sight is a great one. Alright, they withdraw. So, they don't want to get hit by a Scald, which is fair enough. And they don't want to risk the poison. They're going to go to Night Core, which is of course the Meow Strada. Nice and shiny. They get some Stealth Rock shit, which is awesome. And then we go for a Future Sight. Now, they definitely go for a Flower Trick here or a Knock Off. Um, one of the two. They could also go for a U-turn, to be fair. Um, best bet's probably Infernate. Because it resists both, well, all three of those moves. I think we go Infernape. I think that's the best bet. So, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go into Infernape now. Withdrawing, and then we'll go into Infernape. So, uh, what do we do here? This, this team's really tough to beat. Um, they go for a knockoff, which is obviously going to make them a dark type, and then also do a lot of damage to us. However, we know they're locked into that now, so we know we can go for a U-turn here, no problem. So, do we do that? Uh, or do we go for a close combat? I'm going to go for a U-turn here. It withdraw. This is great, though, because it means something's going to get hurt by the future sites, and I doubt it'd be Fretress. They're going to go into a Malgus, which is, of course, the Petrum. We know that from earlier. Stealth Rocks do dig in because they are a fire type, which is great. And they do float in the air with their air balloon for now. We go for a U-turn though and pop that air balloon, which is fantastic. And uh, now they're going to get hit by a future site. So we did good there. We baited in the Petrum. We baited in the Petrum. Now we can just go into something faster like Dragapult, which is great. So we'll go, we'll go Dragapult now. Like so. And then they take the future site attack to the face. Which is going to do no damage, apparently. So that's that's unfortunate. Um, if we assume they're going to go for a Shadow Ball, we should definitely go for a Terra Fairy, but they might not. Let's go for a Hex and just see how much damage it does. Withdraw. What are they going to go into? Grenade. Is that the Fretress? It is the Fretress. So Fretress is going to get some Stealth Frost digging into it, which is great. We go for a Hex. And that should still do a lot of damage. We get a crit, which is nice. They actually have a... Is that a red card? It is a red card. Nice. So, Fretris holds up his red card. Makes us switch out. And we and we end up being pulled into Infernape, which is probably the best Pokemon we could have got pulled into there, to be real. Let's be real. Um, looking at their squad, I'd say they have to go Gliscor now. So, I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz. Just see if we get the burn on the Gliscor. They withdraw the Fretris. They don't want it to go down just yet. And Gliscor, it's got to be right. Sentinel. That's going to be the Gliscor, surely. Yep, Gliscor comes in nice. So we get a potential chance to get burn on this thing. And also just getting some damage off on it is going to be really useful anyway. As that did a lot of damage, um, which is really nice. 
No burn. But they do get the Toxic Orb, of course. So, that's unfortunate. They can go for a Protect now all they want. And we can go... Based on that Flare Blitz damage, I think we, we're pretty good with Scizor. Um, but, but Floor just looks really good. Floor just looks really good here. So, I'm going to go into Floor just... Because Moonblast really hurts their entire team right now. Fretress is down on his last leg. So is Petrunt. We go Floor just. Floor just looks like it's going to be really good. Earthquake. They didn't want to take... Okay. That's going to do half. Are they more of an offensive build? They must be. Let's go for a Moonblast again. They probably outspeed us anyway. Uh, they go for an Earthquake. Floor just goes down. Right? Yeah. Floor just goes down to a crit. Doesn't matter. Crit doesn't matter. And we lost Flodge there, so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Interestingly enough, we can go into Dragapult, we can take advantage of their poison. So we'll go Dragapult now, and we'll go for that uh, Hex. Hex should do a lot of damage, so let's go for a Hex now. They withdraw the Glide score. What are they going to go into? Grenade. Grenade's a good one. Fretress goes down to the Hex, that's for sure. So Hex comes through. Dragapult might be the MVP this game if we win. Because it'll take out the Glide Score with the Hex. It can take out the Drifling with a combination of Willow Wisp and Hex. Petron goes down as well. And then it's just me Scarada, which we know is Choice Scarf. All right, in comes Nightcore now. So in their heads, they get a free knockoff off, which is going to be really nice for them, right? Psych, I'm going to Terra Fairy right now and Dragon Knots in your face. So let's go for it now. Fretress is down. I need to move off my list. There we go. Fretress goes down. And uh, now we go for the... Yeah, Terra Fairy. That's fine. Terra Fairy is fine. We can take a knockoff, no problem. They go for a triple axle, which may actually do the job. No, it won't actually. Never mind. Nearly does us. Nearly does us in. But unfortunately for them, Dragonite is going to come through. Did that really just not KO the Meowskarada? That is unfortunate. So now what do we do? If we know, well, the lock's into triple axle, so we can go into Sloking just as easily here. Dragapult can still win us the game. Hex will probably KO the Glide score because it looks like they're more of an offensive build. And they go for a triple axle again. Obviously, it's not going to work very well against Sloking. Nope, not much damage at all. And then all we have to do is Scold will hurt the Glide score. I think they have to go Drift Blim here, right? So I'll go for a Thunder Wave. They withdraw. Are we going to see um, a, a Drift Blim play here? Solus, that's the, that's the Drift Blim. So getting the Thunder Wave on the Drift Blim is going to be great. Because A, they could be a Fire, a Flame Orb variant. Don't miss. There we go. B, it powers up our Hex against them. And they can't tear it to protect against the Hex. So I think we made the right play going for that right there. So now we just go for a Chili. And go back into... They go for a trick. That's fine. Goofy trick. What are they going to trick us? A flame orb? So we get tricked to flame orb, which is great. And then they get the heavy duty boots. We go for a chilly bad joke, which is fantastic. Chilly reception comes through. And then we just go into Dragon Ball and we hex this thing. This gives them a free switch into the Meow Scarada, but um, at the same time, it's not the end of the world. As long as we keep Scizor around, we're all right. Um... Yeah, let's go to Dragapult. Dragapult's great. Dragapult KOs with Hex. KOs the Glide Score. We just need to get rid of that Meow Scarada somehow. So let's go for a Hex now. Hex comes through. Should KO the Driftlin from there. It does, which is fantastic. So Dragapult may be the MVP. Dragapult may be the MVP, which is fantastic. Obviously, Nightcore comes in the uh, Meow Scarada, but they are only able to do this one more time um, because of the Stealth Rocks, which is fantastic. So... All we have to do here is sack off Slow King, bring Scizor back in, and Bullet Punch. That's all we have to do. So let's go ahead and do that now. And then after that, it's just Dragapult. Purely Dragapult. So we go Slow King. They go for a Flower Trick. That's going to be able to... Um... Well, actually, Flower Trick's what they choose to lock themselves into. It KOs Slow King, of course. But this means that we can go into the four times resistant Scizor and maybe do something a little bit different. Maybe do something a little bit different. So let's go into Scizor now. Scizor can obviously four times resist Flower Trick. So I know we can take at least one of these. Take two, I think. Let's go for a Swords Dance here. 
They go for another flower trick. That's fine. Boom. Yeah, we could take two of them. Because, like, it's already a crit. So, what are they going to do? Get a double crit? Uh, no, it's not going to happen. So, Swords Dance comes through. And I think we just need one more Swords Dance to take out the Glide score. That's for sure. So, they go for another flower trick. Boom. Yep. That's not doing much damage at all. We go for another Swords Dance so that we can take out the Glide score, which would be great. And then we just simply go for a BP here. The snow does finally stop. Not that it matters. We just go for a bullet punch here. There's no real reason not to. They withdraw the Meow Skirada. Why? Amalgamus comes in. That's the Petra run. It's going to get some Stealth Rock chip. And then it goes down to the bullet punch. No problem. Boom. Pop, 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 pop. Bow. Down it goes. So now that the Petra run's gone, we just have Gliscor and Meow Skirada. Meow Skirada goes down to the Stealth Rocks, right? Right, Sentinel comes in. Fly score. Can you take a plus four um, bullet punch? I don't think you can. Let's go for it and find out. I don't think it can. Bullet punch comes through. Fly score's going down, right? Yeah, Fly score goes down to a bullet punch, which is great. And this is the great thing about Scizor. It just... It just really... <laughs> cleans up, you know? It can really clean up. It's got some good cleanup attributes. And then Nightcore comes in now. We're just going to go down to the Stealth Rocks, unfortunately, for them. As down it goes. Boom. Nightcore goes down. And that's the game. So GG Reese, that was a pretty fun one. I did enjoy that one. Great game.